Hi, this is Jilly Bling. How are you today? What do you think about this? They're pretty. So if you've made Christmas cards for all of the friends in your address book before, you know that choosing the cutest stamp that you have to do a lot of coloring, it's probably not the best way to go because it takes you forever. You're sitting there coloring. It takes you two hours to color one little scene or one little animal or whatever it might be. And doing that times 50 or plus, more than 50, it gets to be a lot of work. But these here are a bit simple, but they certainly are much easier than doing all that coloring. Or sometimes we kind of do fussy cards. Um, but this, this is an easy project. So whatever embossing folders you have are great. And then this one, the corners, none of the corners are rounded. The bottom ones only are rounded. This one, these two, I kind of like that. Those two are rounded. Mm, okay, this one looks good too. So maybe, maybe like this. And this little embellishment right here, Aren't you impressed? I love that. Actually, I think this might be my favorite one. Um, that's using just a hand punch or anything that you have that will cut multiples of these little circles. I'll show you about that in a minute. Um, layer them. Here. Can you see how kind of, they're kind of thick? And then I put shimmery, shimmery crystal effects over the top to give them a little bit of sparkle. So those are some samples. Um, Peaceful Deer is a new stamp set. Actually, I think it's a bundle. I think it comes with a punch. Very cute. Inspired Thoughts has great words in it. This, um, I think it comes with a tree um, die, a whole bunch of dies, but the words are real nice. Shaded Summer has been in the annual catalog for a little while, and in celebration, you could get the dies for this as your free item. This is a good... Good little set to have. I'm going to use poinsettia, the dies, and that's more for this right here, this poinsettia. Poinsettia. And then also this sprig that comes from these poinsettia dies. And this other one comes from in the tropics, the tropical. Here, I've got it right here. That's poinsettia. This is the tropical one, and those are poinsettia. And to get these leaves, those are from Strawberry Punch. And that is these little green leaves. Okay, so that's a good summary of everything. Clear it all out. Okay, so for the background, this one is just some ribbon that I had from long ago. I'm going to use this. I got it from a craft store. Any burlap you have is fine. If you don't want to use burlap, you could use ribbon. This, I'm pretty sure, is it still current? But any wide ribbon that you have that's um, season appropriate. Or, I know this um, slate is still current, and that's beautiful. I love the look of this project. And this is some old stuff. So whatever you have that's a little bit wide, or even if you put three layers across, that's all good. So let's use this. And it's going to fray a bit, but that's okay. So just cut you off a bit. I'm trying to stay on the same cut lines. And this project, it's just fine if everything isn't perfect because that makes the little flowers look even more perfect. Taking off these edge pieces. Okay, so this is to cut the flowers. I'm trying something a little different on this one. So I'll cut those. Oh, I dropped one. flower and this is for the words 
just a little strip. How about Let's Celebrate? And that one is from right here. Peaceful Deer, Let's Celebrate. So I'll do that in, let me put something back behind here so we, we could see the perimeter of the paper. Memento. So, make that into a little tag. Is it straight? I think I did it a little crooked. I'm just going to make it closer. So when you're cutting freehand like this, don't be scared. But, if where you start your scissors, which is right here, just look at the tip. I want the tip to go to that end. So I'm kind of lining that up. And hopefully it's straight. Close enough. All you'll see is the bright pink flowers anyhow. Okay, so that piece is done. So let's get to making the, the flower centers. Because those take just a minute to dry, not too long. So I'm going to do... This one has two big and one little. Where's that other one? This one has one big, two little. How about, I don't know, because I have this one in my hand, two little, one big. So I'm going to cut or punch three per flower. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they're hiding in the trap door. And then with a bigger punch, I'll do three more. Okay, holes punched out. So, oh, you know, I want to do some on the inside too. Need more. Okay, three more big ones. And any size punch you have is good, or if you have a die, that cuts circles, that's fine too. Then six of these. You have lots of little pieces. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm going to get these made because they'll take just a little bit to dry. Kind of like these trap doors. Keeps everything from falling everywhere. Is that it all? Yeah. Okay. Liquid glue. So, to make the little flower top, the little button, on two of these per card, I'm just going to put just a drop. Can you see how it doesn't have to fill the whole thing? It's probably better if I smooth it all out. But it's not necessary. Okay, so out of the th six larger size, I have four of them with glue on it and two of them no glue on it because that's the top. Okay, so then the same here. I'm just going to leave one of each of them um, with no glue on it. Just a dot. Since that one's sticking, I'll pile it on top. And I'll straighten them out here in just a minute. Can't wait too long, but I could wait just a little bit while the glue is still wet. So I'm going to make sure that they're piled on top of each other. Is 
They're stacked. And then put this clean one right on top. Ooh, these started to set up already. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. There, I pulled them apart and put them back together because they weren't perfectly aligned. And it doesn't have to be 100%. That's pretty well. You could see this one sticking out to the side. Okay, that one's done. Just let it dry. This one's real crooked. Wow, that really stuck. I might have to do another group. Oh, there it goes. It's kind of a mess. Well, if I put sparkle on it, everything should work, right? Bling makes everything better. Okay, so that one is just fine. Okay, that could dry. Now this one could go right on top. This one is behaving. Probably should have done it on a silicone sheet. Okay, so that one is just going to dry. And I'll show you all these close up here in just a minute. Okay, so now for the big ones. That's probably easier to see. Much easier to see. Oh, and these are almost perfectly lined up. Okay, so that part is done. Now put them on here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so there they are, and it's just, oh, that one's coming apart. Can you see that it's a layer of three of them? Kind of smush them together a little bit more. And we'll just let those dry. And it's fine if they're not exactly right. Okay, so that's for the flowers. So we'll come back to that in just a minute. So this is for the leaves. And I have all kinds of green over there. This is a corner rounder. This strawberry punch, we're going to do the strawberry topper. That's going to be our leaves. So to make the leaves, we'll take this piece, cut it right in the center. And those will go under the flower. So on two of these, I'll put just a little bit of glue, turn it over. And where do you want your leaves to be? How about just like that? Let it dry. Oh, I have to do two more for the inside. And this big flower, I'm going to put two bunches of green on here. And I'm not worried if the green shows through the center because my little flower center will go there.
So however you think leaves might pop out from underneath flowers, do it just like that. That one, is it sticking? Not really. Okay, and then there's this little one. See how that looks. That's fine. Okay, just let those dry a bit. Corner rounder. We'll do that in a minute. So, this is a new embossing folder in the holiday catalog. And I should know the name of it, but I don't. And in the back is an index, which is very convenient. Right here, it is called Time Worn Type 3D Embossing Folder. So that is this one. So I'll put this paper in. And there it is. Inside paper, base paper, okay so to do the corner punching, how should I do this one? That could go in here, this is inside, this is the texture top. So how about, I like how this is, so I'm going to do it just like that. So this is a trio, punch trio, and I'm going to use this corner rounder, which is this one right here. Might have to stand up to do it though. So I'll put it in here. When you're using one of these punches, at first I thought you punch straight down on the whole thing. Nope, you punch off to whatever side punch you're using. So I'm going to punch off to this side only. Just get it lined up. Use these little guides to line up your paper. And I'll do all of these, all the layers. I use the corner rounder most. Oh, you know, maybe I should try getting it fancy. I'm going to do the little flower thing. Not on the brown. I'll do it on the white. The brown is just a layer. Ooh wee, look at that. I don't think I want to do it on the top. So corner rounder going through two layers of thick cardstock. It will work. Look at that. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we have. That's inside, inside. So you know how I did the fancy flower punch out right here in the corner only? There's no need to do it on the crumb cake paper because it's going to be covered up just on this top inside paper. And time worn. Oop, need that. So I'm going to put dimensionals on this. white on white okay and where is that little burlap so this 
These two are a bit similar. That's a bigger grain. Should I put it in the middle? I was thinking of turning it, but time worn, you can kind of see some type through there. I'll just right there. That's good. So to hold that down, let me turn it over. Yeah. Because I know it's going to be covered by flowers, I'm just going to put some glue. Now I'll probably have to put some pressure on it because the burlap has a bit of a bow to it. Oh, okay. Well, it will just behave. Who knew? Love it when stuff works out. Okay. Very cool. Okay, so back to the flowers in this little topper thing. Make sure I have them all. These can all turn over. This little stem coming out, I'm going to cut that off. No need to see that. Okay, so now these little guys. So I could put the shimmery crystal effects on them, but that will take a minute to dry. And I could do that once the card is almost done. Oh, I need some more flowers for the inside. That means I need more green. Okay. More green, which means two punches. That's all I want. So cut these in half. You know, it might as well just trim that off because in the end it gets trimmed off. Okay, so you all know how Tony retired in early July. Guess what? He's going to unretire because the rules say you can continue to work, which he planned to, um, as a retired person, but only six hour, 600 hours a year. And I guess if you add that up, that's not that's that's not very much, and. There's a bus driver shortage right now, and they really need people. So, he's not retired. If he were to work over the 600, or if he were to work over 599, what happens is you have to pay back everything that they paid you, your monthly income. Keep in mind, it's not very much at all. It's like 200 bucks a month. So, he talked with the school and they said, mm, do you really have to retire? So he's going to tell the state, forget it, I'm not retired. You can keep your checks. Interesting how that works. So, he'll be going on Lots of bus trips, sports trips. Mama is off on her vacation on her Alaskan cruise. Haven't heard from her much, which is kind of weird. Okay, flower is done. So now to put them on here, just three of them on here. Where's those words? Let's celebrate. I think I want to make it a little bit fancy. I kind of want it smaller. Just cut it. If you mess it up, you can always do another one. So this one I'm going to do the little flag in the end. Cut in the middle, 
then come put the corner to the center cut then same thing here okay let's celebrate Pop it right there so I think maybe a dimensional over here and then that could just be liquid glue it's gonna be too big I'll be close I could just use a little one okay two little ones Then, liquid glue. Stick. Okay, so now to attach these, I'll do two big ones on the outside and a little one. How about here? There. And right up here. That's cute. Okay, and to attach in, I'm going to try liquid glue. Because I think a dimensional, it wouldn't hold on to that burlap. Because that's quite textured. I want a little bit of green dipping down into here. Okay, how about pink? I think this is Melon Mambo. Melon Mambo either that or Polish Pink. Pink Polish. Just like that. Okay, and then to attach these dots, I'm going to fill up the void and maybe a little bit on the outside edge. Oh, and you know if the glue drips through the hole, that will just hold the burlap in place and the flower. So, more glue. Woohoo! Okay, so these are just going to drop into place for now, and then I'll get them sparkly. Probably after I do the inside. Oh, isn't that sweet? Okay, I'm going to let it dry. Good thing it will dry clear. And work on the inside. Okay, so for the inside, how about it's your time to be remembered, to feel appreciated, and know you're celebrated. That's nice for a, let's celebrate. I probably should find happy birthday words. Those, but the font it really doesn't match. Well, that's the only one. Okay, just the words. Test it. Turns out good. Hopefully it's straight. If not, could flip it over. It looks pretty good though. Okay, just a few flowers at the bottom. But you know I'm going to attach these together.
Okay, so I hope if I open the cards, those will stay right in place. I'm hoping and hoping. Okay, let's see. Good, it's behaving. And I'm waiting to the end to put the sparkly on these because if I had wet sparkly on it and I opened it up, you know what would happen to the sparkly. Not good. Get all smeared and yucky. And I have to do it again. Add another layer of sparkly. So these, how did I do it in this one? Oh, they're underneath. That's cute. This one. They're down in the bottom corner. Ooh, look how nice that crystal effects shows up on the black. That's that's a classic card. These, it's over the top. That's pretty because the word sending is kind of art. Okay. Okay, so how about these being wonder can they kind of trickle down no they're just going to be in this corner that this and that one there it is that's how it wants to be I don't think you could do any wrong you're have a grouping of pretty flowers. Can't do wrong. They're just pretty. We're smelling smoky again here. I thought it cleared out. This morning was so clear. Yesterday we even had a hint of rain. But it got smoky again. I thought, oh, you know what? Oh, well, I did big, big, little, where I was supposed to do big, little, little. Okay, so the inside is going to be all little guys, which is fine. I'm going to kind of fill up that little hole. Not too much, because I just have littles over here. There's a dog looking at me through the back window. Tip of glue on the tip of the snips is a good picker-upper. Bow weight, bow weight. Okay, so that is in there. And there's kind of glue. There, don't touch. And now, crystal effects. Good thing it's thick. At first I was thinking it's too thick, it's causing a problem but it's going to work out fine. So I'm going to put on just a bit of a blob. Can you see the blob? And then I'm going to spread it out. Little one, just a little. That one just gets a blob and that's it. You know how when you're whipping whipped cream and you have stiff peaks? Got some stiff peaks with this stuff going on. You know, I got this one last year. I wonder if it's old or if when you buy it, it's naturally that thick. I don't think it's a problem or anything, but I have to get another one. You can see I'm going to use lots of this. And right over here is kind of a glob, but I know that when I give it just a little bit of time, it will smooth out. So... While that's on there, I'm hoping it won't drip too much. I'm going to do these just a little bit quick. So it doesn't drip. Oop, that glue is still wet under there. <laughs> the flower center is moving. Let go! That's a seriously stiff peak. Cow. Okay, that's a big blob. 
I might need to get a new one. Maybe this is just thick. Okay, so I don't want the lid, the top, to hit there. I got myself in a predicament here. Okay, so this project is all done. I can hold it up. Isn't that cute? A little sparkle on there. And then the inside, look how big I did those blobs. Whoops. Very cute. So I will put pictures on my blog. My blog is jillybling.com and it will have pictures of the inside and outside when it's all the way dry and pictures of all these other samples too. And I will list all the products used in case you want to get some for yourself. I hope you have a great day and thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. Okay?